Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Teacher, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I hope that you're well. Excellent. Fine. Thank you. And you? Fine. A little bit tired, but it's okay. Excellent, Mary. So let's just start in this night, guys. So let me share my screen with you. Aki ducky. Here we go. And let me know when you are staying my screen. Okay. I don't know if you are saying my screen. No. No, no. Hello. Can you see my screen? Oh, just two. Oh my God. So why so ah, okay, ahí vienen llegando, ahí vienen llegando. Poquitos, poquitos estamos. What happened? Dígale a su compañerito, compañerita, hey, the English class is it's ready. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Excellent. I hope that you're well. Um, I have a problem. Why? Why you have a problem? Um, it's problem that connection. Interest. Trouble connections. Okay, yeah. you have trouble connection. Okay, don't worry. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. <clears throat> Muy bien. Si ustedes tienen problema de conexión, just let me know, teacher. I have some trouble with my connection. So for that reason, I have here. So a little bit like uh, with troubles. Okay, welcome to the rest. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a minute. Good evening. Welcome to welcome to one more station for today and just two more section and then our cars is over. Okay. Uh first, what do you remember from yesterday? Let's see. What do you remember from yesterday? Anything. Hi <laughs> right, teacher. Uh-huh. What do you remember? Um, hmm? I don't remember the, the I remember the futuro. Que lo que iba a ser a futuro. Uh -huh. What we are Free going day. to do in the future. Mm -hmm. um, Newsday. Um... Vale. Que lo que voy a hacer a futuro. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Muy bien. Thank you for your participation. Yes, I know. I understand your idea. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, we were studying about the future plans, right? Future plans, when you, for example, uh, you have a, a, for example, for tomorrow, you have a different plans from today, right? Because maybe you, for tomorrow, you are going to, you are going to travel, you are going to travel. Podría ser que va a viajar, you're going to, ah, you're going to work, va a ir a trabajar, you're going to get up early, se va a levantar temprano, you're going to get up late, podría ser que alguien de los que sé que se le va a levantar tarde mañana, we don't know, ¿verdad? Possible, podría ser, it's gonna be, could be, podría ser. Uh, you, tomorrow you're going to go to the supermarket, or you're going to go shopping, se va a ir de compras. Or you are going to go for a coffee? Se va a ir a tomar un café? Could be. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Okay, yes. For future plans. We were studying for future plans. Y qué mejor manera de recordarlo, ¿verdad? Cuando también nosotros estamos describing aquellas cosas. O sea, describiendo qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Eh, estamos, yes. Si alguien más sabe de sus compañeritos, por favor, dígale. Ya estamos en English Class, ¿verdad? Ya estamos, conectate, ¿verdad? Y hágale una invitación a que se conecte. Ya solo nos quedan, pues, ok, just tomorrow and Thursday and the course is over. Solo nos quedan dos días, dos días. O sea, esos dos días es como que no podemos faltar, ¿verdad? Es impredecible que usted me diga, ay, teacher, es que me pasó algo. Ah, no, pero la teacher ya había dicho. Voy a evaluar participación y voy a evaluar también lo que es asistencia. Por el hecho de que pues ya estamos a las, ¿qué? 
ya estamos terminando, finalizando, ¿ok? Entonces, no me puede presentar algunas como que, ah, teacher, por esta o, o qué motivo no puedo. No, porque ya pues la teacher lo está diciendo. Ustedes deben de ser eh, sabedores de eso. Ok, bueno, let's uh, continue with our, this one. So, uh, we have to, just give me one second because I need to present to you one thing that I have here that is a uh, future and present continuous and be going to. Okay, uh, right now we are going to share with you. I'm going to share with you my video. In this video, you are going to listen with attention and then you have to say, ah, okay. Okay, so now we are going to discuss about this and this and this because as you remember, we talked about uh, be going to and future plans, right? Okay, uh, listen and after that we have to do a discussion. I'm gonna reproduce this one in twice. Okay, twice because uh, it's a little bit, you have to try to understand how we can use that. And so for the reason is grammar. So you know, grammar is a little bit complicated. So a little bit, just not it's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's very complicated. No, it's a little bit complicated, but for the reason I'm gonna uh, to ask to you, so that you play, please pay attention to the video. If has you can possible, you can uh, take notes. En la manera de lo posible, me gusta que hagan anotes, ¿verdad? Que hagan apuntes, que me digan, yes, teacher, o sea, voy a poner esto, voy a hacer esto. O sea, esto es como forma de sugerencia. It's like a suggestion, but it's, depende de usted. ¿eh? O sea, a usted se le queda pues todo, it's okay. Okay, here we go. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay an Ajá, uh -huh. can you listen the instruction? Yes, you sure. uh -huh. yes, sure. You can say no. You can say no, please. You can say no if, if you want. So, of course, if you want. But if you are able to understand all these five things, como ya se lo dije, si usted entiende todo, pues es ok. Pero sí es importante que tome notas. Y más en este tipo de videos, ok? explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, 
You may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Hi. I'm going to reproduce this again, so please say not, because after that we have to do a discussion. So, are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program, and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus future with present continuous and be going to with present continuous what are you doing tonight I'm going to a soccer match are you doing anything tomorrow no I'm not with be going to plus verb what is she going to do tomorrow she's going to work until five are they going to go bowling yes they are as you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is plus verb plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if this statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if this statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Examples with me. Be good. Okay, guys. So, for example, 
So when we have to use it and how we can use, so for example, be kind to and present continuous, in which is the difference. Can you tell me? Mm. When you use uh, you use uh, the present continuous, just uh, just uh, add the ing uh, the bear. When you you use the going to uh, the the bear is infinity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. After um, you can you can use the uh, the future prepositions. Yeah. Okay. Use to complement. Uh-huh, and yeah. compliments. Excellent. Okay, so, but in this case, so for example, uh, so we have, you can see in the rules, for example, says plan actions in a future. That's mean that you can plan something that is a future, right? Uh, teacher, excuse me, what are the different we use uh, going to or, or, or will? Will so both are used for plans uh, about, about plans in the future. Yes, yeah. plans. But, but in the what future. is different? The different is, but for example, going to is like a more a like a certain time that you have to do these things. So, will is like a, you have a certain uh probably, but it's not very sure if you can do this one. So it's more uh like uh on planning. So it's like spontaneous because. You say, for example, going to, it's something that you have to do right now. So because you are very sure that you can do that, that you have to do. So, but the will is maybe it's a fair, um, some percentage, uh, maybe some percentage that you can do the things that maybe for one or another reason, it's possible that you can do that, right? So uh, you have to focus. And every single thing, so for example, in this case, not is uh for the reason I can explain that how what what is the difference between going to and will, because as you know, so if we don't make it confused because both are similar, but uh, if I say something like that, I can make confused to your classmates. So for the reason I didn't explain that one, but it's important that maybe you can say so teacher, but it's the same. Yes, I know, but it's a little bit like when you say going to because you are pretty sure that you can do that. But mm -hmm. the will is like a mm, it's gonna be possible, but it still be possible. Yes, possible not because it's gonna be. For example, I don't know. Have you ever uh, happened to you that you can do any plans, but for one or another reason, you don't do that. No lo hizo, ¿verdad? No, no, no yeah. va a ser eso posible. Because well, maybe you to, have... Excuse me, uh, going to the, the future, but it's, uh, it's near. Yeah? It's near, yes. It's yeah. near future. Sure. But will is like, oh, okay, I have plans. I will be gone vacation on Christmas, but I'm not sure because many things can be happen you until yeah. this time. So you until... Christmas, o sea, algo puede pasar y yo estoy segura y la planeé, pero por una u otra razón no se lleva a cabo entonces es como que estamos un poquito más lejos de, de que pueda pasar pero sí se utiliza también para el futuro ok um, for example says use, pl use uh, plain actions in the future, sign number two says that you are certain that something is going to happen in the future uh, something is going to happen. I mean, in, in this case, so for that reason, well, uh, what, what person of certain? Excuse what me? Certain, uh, uh, what per, per, person of certain that something is going to happen in the future? Uh, because, you... because we're going to, it's meant that, for example, it's average around 80% that's going to be no, happen. I... And 80% is like, okay, oh. because you're going to do this one. But oh. enough will is like um fifty percent that is gonna be happen, so, and this is the difference. So it's sometimes, for example, when you say, "I oh, know tomorrow I'm going to go to the supermarket," so because you know that it's pretty sure that you have to, yeah. uh, you must to go to the supermarket because you don't have anything in your refrigerators on your fridge so you say oh, oh my goodness so i have to go to go to the supermarket because i don't have anything so mm -hmm. uh, okay so
So, and number two says, uh, you are certain that something is going to happen in the future. So, it's going to be happen. So, because you're pretty sure that it's going to be happen. So, uh, that says that is you are certain. So, because you are pretty sure, right, that it's going to be happen. That way you just be going to, sorry, so I'm going to just, I mean, because you're pretty sure that you're certain that it's going to be happen. Que eso mm -hmm. va a pasar. Okay, so main difference. Uh, for example, when you're making predictions, we don't know the use of present continuous rather that we use be going to or will. So for a reason, because uh, it's different because for example, you when you're making predictions, we don't know just present continuous because you don't say it's okay. Uh, because when you say present continuous, because it's the situation is going to be happening in the moment. So you are doing that action. For example, you say, ah, the teacher is explaining the class. So because it's in present continuous, because I am doing the action. I am doing right now. I am explaining right now. So but I can, but I can say, uh, teacher is going to explain me the use of the going. But yeah? yeah, yes, but notice the same when the, you say the teacher, the uh, teacher is explaining is right playing? now the class no. because right the now, class. Uh -huh, yes, uh, because uh, I'm uh, doing the action. Uh, but you, when you say the teacher is going to explain the class, say, la does. teacher lo va a explicar. Sí? No? Uh -huh. Pero ahorita la teacher está explicando. Yes, yeah? explaining. Uh, yeah, it's explaining. So because I am doing the action, o sea, estoy haciendo la acción y le estoy mostrando, verdad? Yo estoy diciendo y ustedes están viendo. Pero okay. cuando dice, la teacher va a explicar. Ah, porque se sabe que la teacher yeah. va a explicar el tema. In, in the very short time, it's going. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yeah. going to, because, like you are, because going. it's the action that you're going to do. O sea, es la acción que vamos a hacer. Also, for yeah. example, you say, okay, the teacher is going to pass the attendance list. O sea, la teacher va a pasar la lista. Pero si decimos, la teacher está pasando la lista, like the teacher is, is, yes, yes. is eh, mentions or it's calling the names o está nombrando mm. los nombres verdad o está mm -hmm. eh, nombrando a cada estudiante verdad o está pasando lista ok she's mm -hmm. ok join o calling every single student so careful with mm -hmm. that with that a little bit um going to to make predictions uh careful with that thing so because maybe you can make confused because you say ah, okay present continue is easy and you say okay yes, just present continue because you are not okay present continue is one of things and it's different because when you use be going to notice the, notice the same thing so when you use be going to is because you are going to do the action but when you say something in present continuous that you don't going to do the things that you are doing right now the things so that is it's a bit different okay so and then we have to use big going to make prediction and then it says uh watch out are going to break the class and it's cloudy it's cloudy i think it's going to rain so i think it's going to rain Okay, so in this case, so you have to say that so it's going to rain because you think that maybe you look the skies and you look the cloudy, you look, I mean, the, 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 the weather, so you feel that it's cloudy. Or maybe if you look to the sky, so you notice that it, the, 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 the sky is dark and you say, oh my God, it's so cloudy. And for the reason, so you say it's going to be rain because when you notice that the sky is dark, what is the things that you can uh that you can see or in the, that you can imagine in your mind? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo primero que viene a su mente cuando usted ve? When you see the sky is dark, es oscuro el cielo, las nubes están grises. ¿Qué cree que va a pasar? It, it's going to rain. It's going to yeah, rain. Yeah. O sea, y usted yeah. dice, no, va a llover. Y aunque tal vez no lleva porque por una uh, obvia razón, pues la tormenta no cayó. Pero lo que primero viene a nuestra mente y como lo... But you, you can think too, uh, 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 it's going to happen an eclipse. Uh, okay, it's going to have an eclipse. Okay, yes, but when you something that is very easy, like uh, okay, you feel as the windy, right? You feel the wind, the windy, and the sky is dark. You say, "Oh my God, it's going to be rain." O sea, va a llover. Ya no hay vuelta atrás. Ya está la brisa, ya está todo. No, ya. It's, it's raining. Cats and dogs. Y va a venir esa tormenta, como dicen, va a caer sapos y de todo. Okay. 
So uh, right now I'm gonna pass it in the list for the time. So I have message here that says present teacher. Okay, when you call, when you hear your name, you have to say present. Okay, I have a stop here because I need to pass it in the list and then we have to return to our explanation. And I'm gonna explain more about this topic because it's really interesting that you know about this information because it's really important that you know. Just give me one second for a while because it's charging my screen. Aki daki, just give me one second. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just give me one second. Okay. Uh, Adan Iglesias Velasquez. Adan Iglesias Velasquez. Adan Iglesias Velasquez. Arles Ernesto López. Teacher. Yes. Yes, Mari. Arles Ernesto López. Arles. Problemas de, 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 de conexión. ¿Quién, eh, María? Adán. Reíste el compañero conectado. Adán, vaya, está bien. Adán, ¿verdad? Y Arles, ¿lo tengo por aquí conectado? ¿No? No. Vale. Gracias, Mari. También a usted le escuché un poco acordado. Creo que es la señal. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Adán, Ramírez. Adán, teacher. Adán, sí, ya le puse yeah. asistencia. Adán, ok. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. No tenemos mucho internet porque se ha estado viendo Ay, perfecto, Mari. Cuánto lo siento que se esté yendo mucho la luz. Ok, thank you, Mari. No se preocupe. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present teacher. Thank you. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. I am here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Edmundo Antonio Martínez Lucha. Present, teacher. Enrique Pérez Lemos. Present, teacher. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oh, yes. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Present, Enrique. Teacher. Present. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alballero. ¿Está Ever por ahí? Francis Alballero. Sí, está conectado, pero. Ah, ok. Quizás me bueno, sí, o quizás está. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Presente, teacher. Thank you. I am here. Thank you. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ever. Eh, lo acaba de sacar el, eh, la señal. Ok, teacher. ok, perfecto. José Amilta Reyes Cruz. José Amilta Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar, está por acá José Amilcar, si me dice. José Benjamín David de Guevara, sí, por ahí está. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan, present, 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 teacher, thank you. present. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. Juan, thank you. María Magdalena Cedillo. Thank you, thank you. María Magdalena Cedillo González. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Yvette Merino Rivas. Mónica. Present, teacher. Thank you. Santos okay. Mauricio Arias Valle. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Uh, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present. Ok, voy a mencionar las inasistencias que tengo hasta el momento. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz, ¿está por acá? 
Está porque tiene con problemas de corazón. Vaya, ok. Eh, Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes, que está de viaje, y Arles Ernesto López. ¿Arles? ¿Tampoco? Ok, bueno, vamos a retomar entonces nuestro Our Explanation. Ok. So let's gonna record your explanation. I have a message. Ok, so let's see. Uh, because I, I don't know if you can do uh, something else because it's wonderful if you if you do it so because but it's something that is for you it's very like I mean adventure such for you okay so Presente, teacher. Me acabo de conectar en el teléfono, eh? okay Adam okay I just said your attendance Tome su, su, su lista de asistencia. Su, tome su, su, su asistencia. Y ahí está. Solo mencioné las inasistencias que tengo que si no están, pues sí les pongo inasistencia. La verdad que ahí sí ya no puedo hacer nada. Ok, let's continue doing this one. So, and another Watch thing out. that is important. You're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy. I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Ok, what is the form of present continuous? For example, subject, so as you can see, we have subject plus a verb to be. What is a verb to be, guys? So we have to repeat this one several things or several times. What is a verb to be, guys? ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Is. Yes. Are. Um, yeah. Is yeah. the verb to be. Um, are. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have, has. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Muy bien. Very good. Uh, for example, but a third person is changing, right? Because you know that it is. Uh, then you say, for example, in this case, are you... In the examples, and then we have the verb to be plus verb plus ing. Examples, she is watching a movie. So she is watching a movie. So as you know, that is because Renan is watching a movie, right? Watching a movie. She is watching a movie. Uh-huh, watching a movie. Very good. And then, they are say, going to the concert. They are going to the concerts. Very good. They are going to the concerts. Excellent. And also, when you say this one, because you have to say, in, so what is the correct answer? So you say this one. And you say, so, okay. So because you are doing an action. Okay, so it's different. It's different to the big going to. And when we study the structure of the kind, it's different, right? It's different. So let's go now. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject. Okay, this is different because when you, when you make an equation, for example, you know that first that we have to WH, that is whatever WH that we have here. So it's where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? So, or when you may ask like this. So excuse, that, excuse me, teacher, excuse me. Uh, I think the graduation is 14 uh, letter A. Sorry? 
I think in the, the word graduation is a fault in the letter A. Letter A. Um, okay, just wanna be checking this one. But just wanna be explaining this one. Okay, uh, for example, is this graduation? one? Uh huh, uh huh. Excellent. Where, where are you celebrating your graduation? Oh, it's yes. Graduation. Yeah. Yes, it's graduate. Uh -huh. Yes, it's graduation. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's a mistake. I think that it's like, it's uh, a mistake. Yeah, yeah it's yes. a mistake. Okay. Finger, uh, a finger mistake. <laughs> <laughs> finger mistake. Yes, you know. It's a finger mistake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, it's different. Y va a variar todo esto porque se dice, ah, okay, so it's different. Por ejemplo, when you say um, WH, WA plus, plus P plus S plus verb plus ING plus complement. So it's going to be, you notice, it's a difference. So why? Why is different? So because you say, uh, for example, or you say um, WH, whatever WH, what? Where, how, so whatever, whatever, how. whatever. yes, how, okay, excellent. So, can you, uh huh, why, excellent, why, what, right, what, what, yeah, and also plus B, for that, plus B, uh, plus S, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement. So, for example, you say. Where are you celebrating your graduation? So, what is he doing tonight? Okay. Y estamos como en una forma de que, ah, ok. Entonces, vamos a, a preguntar por lo que, ¿verdad? Va a ser esta noche. Or you may ask like this. So, WH plus B plus S plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement. So, where are you going to celebrate? So, where are you going? Y lo mismo, ok. Entonces, estructura. Seguimos estructura. Where are you? Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? Ok. And then you say, what is he doing? Is he going, sorry, to do tonight? Just that. Esta noche. Ajá. Entonces, algo muy simple, ¿verdad? Muy fácil. Y creo yo de que acá ¿Qué pues... va a ser esto? ¿no? Ajá, muy bien. Excelente. Entonces, eh, decimos acá lo mismo, ¿verdad? Lo mismo. Y es como seguir, just, uh, just follow the rules. Solo seguir como las reglas, las rules. Just that one. Usted solo sigue, solo sigue, solo sigue las rules. And it's okay, ¿verdad? Y solo vamos siguiendo. A lo mejor puede decir el teacher, pero qué difícil se ve o a lo mejor el teacher está muy difícil la estructura o a lo mejor eh, podemos decir eh, no, pues eh, está, no, 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 no entiendo verdad la estructura y puede ser el caso de que no, muchas veces no lo entendamos, verdad pero no es eh, también que pase algo así, sino que simple y sencillamente pues es solo vamos a seguir estructura claro muy diferente when you are uh, making equation or making plans different to say present continuous totalmente diferente aunque se ve el ing porque muchas veces ah pero es que yo veo el ing ahí entonces eh, me confundo okay no no es lo mismo okay muy bien this wh question word plus b plus subject plus verb plus ing, plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. 
This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. Tonight. Tomorrow. This weekend. Tonight. Next week. Can you share this with weekend. us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Ok, entonces usted dice, ¿verdad? Ok, la stand expression. Esa stand expression, you know that it's going to be emphasizing or, for example, you say uh, it's going to be easy because it's like emphasizing in, um, es como para darle un poquito más de realce a lo que nosotros eh, llamamos, pues, el, sabemos que son making plans for tomorrow, ¿verdad? For next week, for um, next month, right? Okay, <clears throat> we are going to continue in our book. So it says, uh, choose an activity in exercise for A's and invite, invite a partner to go with you. Be ready to say some word and then when activity is. So say, are you doing anything on... Okay, for, for example, would you like to? Se recuerda que estuvimos viendo... Hicimos este, este diálogo, this conversation. Pues usted lo que va a hacer es lo siguiente. Usted va a decir, ah, ok. Um, por ejemplo, usted va a decir, ah, ok. Um, for example, dice. La actividad. For example, are you doing anything on, on Sunday? Oh, why, what are you doing on Sunday night? ¿Qué va a ser el domingo por la noche? Uh, would you like to go to out with me? ¿Te gustaría ir afuera o salir conmigo? Entonces, respondemos, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos combinando. El would you like? Yes, I like. Ok. Excellent. And your answer is going to be yes, I like. Or yes, I would like. Ok. The answer. Yes, I would like. Ok. Muy bien, entonces, in the example, you emphasize, ok, estamos en, enfatizándonos, en what are you going to do on Sunday, o sea, ¿qué vas a hacer on Sunday night? ¿Qué vas a hacer el domingo por la noche? It, maybe you say, oh, let me see, I'm going to, I'm going to spend time with my friends. Voy a pasar tiempo con mis amigas. Ok, entonces, ok, would you like to go with me? Go out with me? Entonces, yes, I would like. Siempre vamos a responder, I would like, porque la, la question es, would you like to go? Would you like to go with me? ¿Te gustaría ir conmigo? Yes, I would like. O no, I wouldn't. Ok, eh, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer un diálogo así cortito, ¿verdad? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Y usted pregunta, ¿qué vas a hacer? Eh, would you like to go to a restaurant? Would you like to go to the Guatemala? Would you like to go to the supermarket with me? I don't know, whatever place, al mercado, no sé, a the, the church, whatever place. Entonces usted va a estructurar un pequeño diálogo que es cortito, o sea, lo va a hacer corto, 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 corto. Eh, y solo le voy a dar, ay Dios mío, just two minutes, solo dos minutos para que lo prepare, tres, tres minutitos para que usted lo pueda hacer porque eso es rápido, o sea, no le va a tomar nada. Y luego tenemos esta conversation, pero creo que por el tiempo, no sé si vamos a lograr hacerla, sino pues, tomorrow we are, going, we are going to practice this one, pero lo más importante es que usted haga esa pequeña conversación que le estoy pidiendo. Es simple, solo que va a hacer y el would you like, solamente. O sea, porque necesito que usted ponga en práctica también lo aprendido. Ok, three minutes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Who so say excuse me? You're ready? Okay, are you yeah, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, tell us. Share with us. What are you doing? Uh, what, what are you doing uh, tomorrow? 
Would you like to would you like to go to the how do you say uh, would you like to go to shopping? We like to go shopping. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Someone else? Alguien más? Someone else? Que solo son dos preguntas. Si usted quiere incluir sí. respuesta y si no, pues solo dice las questions. Ok, just say the question. Ok. Uh -huh. Are you sí. doing anything on Saturday? Ok. Would you like to play soccer? Excellent. Would you like to go to play soccer? Ok, would like to play soccer? Excellent, very good. Someone else? I'm getting mad. Nobody? Ok, let's continue. So now, say, Safana and after Plasma, are you going to do this weekend? And this is the things Would that we have like to do. Would you like to ask me? Do you want to ask me? Ok, so, someone else? Alguien más que esté listo? No? Yes, Mari? Would you like to see me tomorrow? Uh, but what, what you are going to do? What you are going to do? What you are going to do mm -hmm. tomorrow? Tomorrow. Would you like to cine? Would you like to go to the cinema? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Would you like? Would you like to the go to the to cinema. cine? The cinema. The cinema. Excellent. Very good. Excellent, man. Okay. Here we have a, a conversation. Uh, good morning. Parker. Uh huh. Yes. And uh, okay. I'm going to read this one and then if we have time, so because we don't have it, so it's a little bit just short time. So, for example, pero primero vamos a tratar de identificar, for example, you say, it's, can I take a message? If you can read the, the questions in the title of the conversation says, can I take a message? Hello, my okay. And for example, I'm going to read this one and then we are going to discuss a little bit this one. Okay, for example, it says, good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I ask to Mr. To Mr. Grabenham, please? I'm sorry, she's not, sorry. Ahí si cuidamos los microfonitos, please. I'm sorry, she's not in the, she's not in. Can I take a message? Es la pregunta que estamos viendo en the titles, okay? Yes, please, this is Mr. Kale. Uh, is that Kale? Not is Kale? All right. Please tell her all meetings and it's on Friday at two and a half. Friday at two and a half. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-400031. Okay. So you say 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Cole. I will give Mr. Graban the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ok, vamos a escucharlo porque sí lo tengo por acá. Pero, por ejemplo, hay muchas maneras de leer el cero en inglés. You can say zero, but you can say oh, too. Se lee como cero, pero también se lee como oh, como la letra o. Como oh. la vocal oh. O. Uh -huh. oh. oh, zero. Ajá. Por acá tengo... Yes. Solo creo que lo vamos a alcanzar a escuchar porque sí, lo que más me interesaba dejarles en claro esta noche es cómo utilizar el going to y el present continuous. Así que después de esto, si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Ahorita solo vamos a escuchar esto, pero mañana lo vamos a practicar. O sea, mañana lo vamos a decir. Si usted tiene la posibilidad de estudiarlo en su free time, so it's wonderful. Uh, let's see. Just give me one second because it's, it's impossible to show it to you. Okay, here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes, can you see? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, we can see. Okay, now yes, please teacher. let me know you can listen. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about 
Can you listen? Yes, teacher, I yes. listen. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher, yes. We can, yes. We, I, can, I can listen. To hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Four zero three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, guys. Uh, this was, I mean, it was a conversation, but it's like a homework for you. La va a quedar como una pequeña tarea de para que usted practique la pronunciación de ese video. And you can find this one in your platform. Okay, vamos a regresar a nuestro libro. Now we are going to focus on this one. Y voy a regresar a lo que estábamos viendo ayer. Para que usted pueda hacer unos ejercicios right now. Para que usted pueda hacer unos ejercicios uh, right now. Maybe in a few minutes that we have here. For example, using a uh, present, present continuous. So for example... Teacher, entonces, present continue. Puede ser cuando yo le estoy preguntando, what are you doing tonight? Yes. Ese es el que yo le estoy preguntando, a ver qué, what are you doing tonight? ¿Qué vas a hacer hoy en la noche? Ok. Y cuando estoy respondiendo, ok, decimos también, teacher, pero es que acá, acá, si usted se fija, es doing. Ok, what are you doing? ¿Qué vas, qué vas a hacer? Y, pero cuando yo digo, what is o oh, what is he going to do? Going to do. What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you? Pero acá es con el going to. Si ya se fijó la diferencia, ¿verdad? Por si ahí nos equivocamos, teacher, y puedo decir, what are you going? What are you going? What are you going to do? No. Eso está malo, right? So what are you what doing? doing? Uh -huh. What are you doing? ¿Qué vas a hacer tonight? What are you doing tomorrow? ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana? What are you doing on Friday? What are you doing on this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Maybe I'm going to go to the church. Uh, maybe I'm going to the... I'm going to the beach. Okay, uh, what are you doing next weekend? I'm going to, I'm going to study. I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to go any place. Yeah, voy a ir a algún lugar. Entonces, uh, o preguntamos, are they going to go to bowling? O sea, ellos, ¿verdad? Por ellos. Entonces, es diferente, igual, yes, they are. Are they going to go bowling? O sea, aquí ya estamos siendo específicos. Entonces, ¿por qué respondemos yes? 
they are, porque ya estamos, pregun estamos preguntando, como, es como cuando usted pregunta, eh, ¿van a ir ellos a la playa? O sea, ya, o sea, sí o no, ¿verdad? Yes, they are, o no, they aren't. Entonces, estamos preguntando por ese lugar específico porque sabemos que eso lo vamos a realizar. No sé si me voy a entender. ¿Sí? Yes, Excelente. Muy bien, entonces, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer usted ahorita? Right now, en los pocos minutos que nos quedan, necesito que usted estructure cinco preguntas, ¿verdad? Y tenga respuesta. Por ejemplo, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to read a book. Podría ser, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going play. to rest. I'm going to rest. Excellent. I'm going to rest. Ok, entonces necesito. Le puede ser con she. Necesito que utilice he, she. Y que utilice el present continuous. Son cinco oraciones en total. Tenemos eh, quizás unos cuatro, tres minutos. En tres minutos voy a empezar porque no tenemos mucho tiempo. En tres minutos empiezo. Y al finalizar el tiempo empezamos a decir nuestras preguntas con respuesta. ¿Verdad? Y eso sería todo. Okay. No, ni se ha Okay, the time is over. Can you say or can you tell us with us your uh, sentence? Yeah. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tomorrow? Yeah. The response will be uh, uh, I am going to the beach. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, what are you going to? What are you going to the uh, where are you going uh, on the weekend? Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe uh, I am going to hike. Okay, yeah. excellent. What else? Another? Yes, another. Okay. 
maybe uh, another question. What are you uh, doing uh, next week? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I am going to work. I'm going to work. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Good, 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 good. And excellent. That, muy bien. Someone else? ¿Quién más tiene eh, questions? Questions, 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 questions. No? Nobody else? All oh, right now, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's see. Well, entonces, eh, ya retomando eh, en los próximos, ya lo que, que lo que resta, ¿verdad? Es también aclararles y decirles que, pues, uh, don't confuse. One thing is use a be present continuous and another thing is how to say, so we'd be going to. And, for example, what, ¿verdad? What is he going to do homework? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que aquí no tenemos el do como doing, sino como en banks for you, ¿ok? Esa es una gran, eh, como que tenemos que tener bien, bien a fondo, o sea, bien determinadita, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que nosotros vamos a lograr acá, verdad? ¿Qué es lo que nosotros queremos? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué es lo que nosotros vamos a um, dar como ese contexto, verdad? Dar como ese contexto. Pero también es como decir o hacer, ¿verdad? Básicamente estamos explicando cuál es la diferencia, ¿ok? Which is the difference, how we can learn y cómo nos diferencia, cómo también usamos an expression, ¿verdad? Okay. okay, guys, we stop here and uh, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to join us to my class and have a beautiful night. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bye. Mr. Sauer.